is I we do a couple of Lucy Gang poems, then we have a raffle, and then we have some more music. Okay. Look, bye. Look, bye. <laughs> Look. <laughs> <laughs> the Lucy Gang take on the council. It's Prince. Hey! <laughs> oh, sorry, got it. <laughs> Councillor Mead was an evil man, but so was his personal secretary, Miss Brush with Death. Take over, he said to her. While I have a glass of Madeira, I'd fly to sunny Spain on red parents' money. So she took steps to turn the children's playground upside down. She planned to build a roundabout on the roundabout, build a tower block on the slide, and turn the swings into landfill. At their AGM, residents of the estate complained. Our children need to express themselves in a physical manner. <laughs> you speak posh, said Miss Brush and Death. For that's how I will cause subsidence to your flat. Ah, <laughs> Who will save us? <laughs> uh, I got that from uh, uh, the Wicker Man. You know, when, uh, you know when they, they put Edward Woodward yeah. and Skin Burn Hunters. The Lord is white, so but I saw no what. And in the flames, get it. Jesus Christ! Yeah. <laughs> anyway, where was I? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Christ! Who will save us? Well, the residents. Mrs. Bakeltop quickly got to her feet and ran out the prefab hall. She knocked on every member of the Lucy Gang's doors. Wake up! Wake up! Out of bed! We need your help! While the little girls put on their white bobbin socks and red clark sandals, Mrs. Bakeltalk told them of the plans the council were intending to implement. The Lucy Gang were incensed by the news. The next day, the Lucy Gang took a big, strong cardboard box to the council offices. With their magic plastic wands, they forced Miss Brush with Death and her cronies into the box. Then they filled it up with ripe tomatoes. <laughs> then they sealed it. Then they posted it to the European Court of Human Rights, no air hole. <laughs> two weeks later, Councillor Mead came back from Spain to an empty office. Hey. Hey.